Hello and thanks for watching this video, a series of videos on Acumatica 2019 R2. Today we're going to talk about some enhancements that have been made to the dashboard so that you can now see conditional formatting and pivot tables. So what I'm looking at here is a generic inquiry for salesperson sales. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to add some conditional formatting to it and maybe make it into a pivot table. So first off, let's get a filter going so we can see just the top invoice sales. So if I just sort by descending here, I can see some really big sales. Maybe I only want to see sales that are over 100,000. So let's create a filter and we'll say invoice sales is greater than or equal to 100,000. And we'll save it over 100K. Okay, so now we can see uh, Steve Church and uh, Mr. Williams is there and a bunch of other people have sold over 100,000. So this will give us some good data. Now the next thing we want to do is add some conditional formatting to this. So that, you know, if you're in the $100,000 range, so we'll sort by ascending. If you're anywhere from 100 to 200,000, you get one color and then, you know, from two to maybe four, you get another color and then, you know, 500,000. So let's go in and edit our generic inquiry. And we'll go to the results grid. And in Acumatica, and you've seen our other videos on conditional formatting, you can do a format at the column level, or you can do it at the row level. In this case, we're gonna do it at the row level. So we'll open up our editor here. So I pasted a formula in here. Between 100 and 300,000, it'll be orange. Between three and 400,000, it'll be blue. And anything else will be green. So we'll click OK, and we'll run our generic inquiry. Okay, so now we have ascending, we have oranges, and we have blues and greens. Now let's take this generic inquiry and put it on a dashboard. So we'll go to our dashboards, and this is the sales demo. I'll go to, for example, sales manager. And I'll go into design. I'll add a new widget. And this is going to be a data table. We'll find the generic inquiry. So if we go back here, we know this is salesperson sales. And then we'll use the filter. Now there's a challenge here because this says shared filter to apply. I didn't share my filter. So let's go back and let's go into our filters and we'll just check it as shared. Now we'll go back, add our widget as a data table. And now we can see our filter. And we'll call it uh, sales person sales. And we'll finish it. So now you can see we have our colors in the widget. Now let's say we want to put a pivot table together. So this is kind of an interesting and good example for making a pivot table because it's showing duplicates of the same salesperson. And maybe we want the aggregate for all the different salespeople. So we'll go back to all records and we'll click here and say save as a pivot and this will be sales by salesperson and by date. We'll share it. Now for our rows, we'll make it the salesperson name. For our column, we'll make it the date. We're gonna round by the month. And our value will be the amount of the sales. 
and that'll be a sum. So we'll turn this off and now we get a good view of our salespeople on the left and the total sales by month on the right. So now if we go back to our dashboard and we go into design mode, we'll add yet another widget. We'll make this a little bit bigger once we create it. In this case, we'll select pivot table. We'll select our inquiry. And we'll select our pivot table. Give it a caption. And month, we'll call it month, and say finish. Now, if we make this bigger, we can see all of our months. And we have a really nice pivot table on our dashboard. So that's it. So that's your conditional formatting now on the dashboard, as well as pivot tables right now on the dashboard. So if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.